Spanning over 5,500 square meters, the Buchong IC Design Park was the first in Malaysia. Over a handful of local and foreign semiconductor design companies have signed up so far. Many were offered free rent and utilities for three years and received help with recruitment and training. Now, I'm going to meet some of the young IC designers who are fresh graduates from Malaysian universities. They've just joined Mind Storage, that's one of the pioneers here at the IC Design Park in Buchong, Selangor. Isaac Chong is excited about joining the 18 month on the job training program with 10 others. Their task is to come up with a customized integrated circuit design by working on different intellectual property blocks. The park so far has received thousands of resumes. Nowadays, uh, we are talking about designing ICs for AI and then you need a certain plan of creativity in it. But you need to put in hard work. Hard work solves the problem. But industry experts say hard work alone is not enough. IC designers must be prepared to put in the hours like their counterparts in Japan, Taiwan and South Korea. For example, in Taiwan, if you in TSMT, for example, when you wanted to do the, the chip, they have a three shift. Around the clock. Yeah. Around the clock. It never stops. Yeah. It never stop. Okay. Try to do it here in Malaysia. You will get a lot, lot of complaints. Okay. This is a crazy of um, you making people working non-stop. Meanwhile, the US-China trade war has presented a window of opportunity for Malaysian companies. In the past, let's say for Silicon IP, it may be dominated by companies like Synopsys, Cadence, Rambus, and so on. But with the segmentization of the semiconductor industry, customers are, all, are more open to uh, other solutions right, from a more neutral country like Malaysia. Mr. Fong founded Skychip, a Malaysian startup that specializes in providing intellectual property and integrated circuit solutions for artificial intelligence four years ago. And with over 30 patents, Skychip currently has 300 designers and is slated for possible listing next year. All this is music to the ears of Economy Minister Rafizi Ramli, who wants to inspire more local tech champions. Eventually, IC design companies want to be listed, you know. Um, so the proximity to Klang Valley, which is a financial centre, is, is important. There's also the proximity to uh, the talent pipeline. Most of the country's top education institutions are in Klang Valley. Malaysia currently produces about 5,000 engineering graduates a year, but it needs 10 times more to elevate its semiconductor industry to front-end manufacturing and IC design. And I'm hoping that uh, the next five-year plan, where people go directly to the industry, they get certified, eventually they can go all the way to a degree, um, and, and that, in a way, de bottleneck the whole process. Already, many multinational corporations, including startups, are chipping in, creating their own talent pool. And only time will tell whether Malaysia will succeed in producing its own quality products that are not just made in Malaysia, but made by Malaysia. Melissa Go, CNA, Selangor.